There was uh, a being with me, um, and and I was seated in a chair, and I was just moving down the tunnel. Uh, something was drawing me down, and this being was with me, and I, I was completely feeling love. I felt very comfortable and very secure. I felt surrounded by love. It was amazing. I just couldn't. I can't even explain it too well right now. I just felt so uh, safe. And uh, then I was, um, the next thing I knew, well, this being was made of light, <laughs> which I had never seen a being of light before. But I could see the eyes were brighter, and then the rest of the, there was not a definition of a body. It was just light. And, um, but it was very loving and friendly. And then the next thing I knew, I was sitting on the end of the bed, looking out the window at this uh, tunnel of light, which is across the lake. And the moment I saw him, I got an incredible feeling came over me of some kind of a, of a euphoric, strange, wonderful feeling that I got being in his presence. It was as if I were in the presence of a, of a of a great prophet or some spiritual man. I felt it, and I loved the feeling. I mean, I can't describe it, but I loved the feeling. It was an other world feeling. I remember seeing a real, real bright light. It's almost blinding to your eyes. It's kind of like white light, intense light that to catch your eyes that you want to cover your eyes but it was a very I felt like a loving feeling coming from that light and the next thing I knew I was for the ship and I said I don't want to go back to earth I want to stay here there's so peaceful here there's so much love here I feel like uh, I fill up with golden light I feel like I'm filling, filling up with golden light and it's grounded right down to my feet and they just start speaking from there. They speak through me, I step aside and because I step aside that is why I go into a trance state. One day a friend was leading me through a meditation and I sensed an energy in the room and to make a long story short, the energy was very loving, very benevolent, and I got a sense that it wanted to drop in to my body. Geez, these guys were really great, you know, about 10 minutes with them flowing energy through me, and I was fine. I was like an addict that just had a hit, you know, I was great. I just fell on top of the world. It was only afterwards I realized they were doing it. They were creating it. They were creating the dependency off and the next thing I know I open my eyes and it could be five minutes or five hours later and uh, I know something must have happened because I always feel good afterwards so uh, that's how I do it and and uh, yeah I've done it now for uh, as many as 10 or 12 times a day for, for as once a day at least for 13 years now all of a sudden telepathically I could hear the voice and she would instruct me on what to do and it was almost like an enormous wave of love when I was on the craft um, I was taken into the light and taken through different steps in the light and able to merge with the light which I interpreted as, as merging with God so what I want to talk about is that experience they affected my uh, body's ability to stay fully, uh, fully tolerant of the energetic environment that I was exposed to, that, that being their presence, and also that they emit this feeling of overwhelming, unconditional love, which if you've never ever experienced that, is just really hard to deal with. And I don't think there are, is a human on earth who who emits that feeling. <laughs>